This production is brought to you by the creative minds at the Raise It Up Media Group, bringing your vision to life, providing production services to aid in reaching your business and creative potential. The ant. Many say they're one of nature's most productive organisms. They live in complex societies and collectively build structures that dwarf any man-made structure to date. But are ants really the relentless hard workers they made out to be? Daniel Charbonneau is an ecologist who studies insects at the University of Arizona. His background is in moth larvae, studying the eruptive forest tent caterpillar. But now, he's dedicating his current research to ants. He looks to unravel, understand this until now misunderstood question. Why are there lazy ants? So we know that there are high levels of inactivity in social insects, uh, and particularly in ants, we know that as much as 60% of an ant colony is inactive at any one time. Uh, until now, no one specifically looked at the fitness costs or benefits of inactivity, uh, nor has anyone ever looked at the mechanisms through which inactivity might affect colony fitness. In the lab, undergraduate and graduate students analyze video of tepnothorax collected in the field. Tepnothorax are all well suited for these experiments because they do not create large colonies and are already in captivity. Scientists paint the ants with unique and specific color codes so they can trace individual ants in a colony over time. Uh, so we're using high definition cameras to uh, record individual ant behavior. Um, and we're taking these videos every four hours, over 24 hours, within a two-week period. Um, and when we're analyzing the videos, we're basically breaking down the behavior into three broad categories. Uh, the first is uh, active, which is whenever they're doing any sort of active task, uh, like foraging or building or brood care or anything like that. Uh, the second is when they're inactive, which is uh, when they're completely immobile and otherwise not doing any sort of task at all. Uh, and the third is uh, undifferentiated, when they're um, kind of walking around inside of the nest and it's not really clear whether they're active or not, and so we're calling that uh, undifferentiated. His team analyzes hours of video, continuously adding to enormous data sets. Then, data analysis allows for the test of Daniel's two major hypotheses. Uh, so when I'm investigating the question of laziness and ants, I'm basically looking at uh, two things. Uh, the first is whether there are any costs or benefits to the colony of having uh, inactive workers in the colony. Um, and the way that I do that is I remove the laziest workers from the colony and I see if the amount of offspring or brood produced is actually greater or lesser than another colony that has other inactive workers. Uh, the second thing that I look at are specific mechanisms through which uh, inactivity might affect colony fitness. So, do inactive workers constitute a reserve workforce? Only benefiting the colony when faced with increasing amount of work? Or is there a potential human-like quality in this ant, where inactive workers selfishly conserve their energy to minimize their exposure to risk so that they may lay their own eggs? Or perhaps it's none of the above. Rather, inactive workers might be performing a function scientists still do not understand. Uh, so the project is still in its early stages. Uh, so far I've shown that uh, Schiffer can't explain inactivity. Uh, I've also shown that uh, there are individual differences in inactivity levels, and so what that means is that some workers are uh, always more inactive than other workers. Um, I've also shown that there's a potentially a relationship between uh, inactivity and the amount of work that's available, and so uh, the colony overall tends to be more active when there's more work to do. Uh, and lastly, we've also shown that there's potentially a seasonal effect where uh, the colonies tend to be less active uh, during the fall, but more active during the midsummer. Despite the seemingly substantial amount of lazy individuals in an ant colony at any given time, ants continue to still be one of nature's most successful organisms. Such a project gives insight as to what can be learned of activity from inactivity. <laughs> 